In this question, we're asked to find the area in the shaded region. The question tells us that we're looking at the standard normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. There are two ways to do this problem. One of the methods will give us the actual picture of the graph, and the other method will simply give us the answer. I'll go over both of these methods. First, note that the z-scores that are given are both to the second or hundredth decimal place with the calculator set so that the window is the window used to graph the normal distribution and going back to the home screen to graph this distribution and actually get the answer and see it we'll use the second distribution then to the draw menu and select shade normal in the shade normal command we'll first put the smaller of the two z scores which is negative 0.85 then a comma and then the larger of the two z-scores, 1.27. You can elect to close the parentheses or not, it doesn't matter. And having input the values to the shade normal function, we'll simply hit the enter key. And you can see that the normal curve is drawn for us, and it matches the normal curve in this question, and that the area which corresponds to the shaded region is given. Generally, these areas are asked to four decimal places, so rounding this area off, we would have 0 0.7003. The low is the lower number z-score, and the up, not LUP, that thing that looks like an L is actually an extension of the y-axis, the upper number z-score is 1.27. Once you finish this drawing, you can clear the drawing by going to the second draw button and simply hitting enter or number one to clear the drawing. Now going back to the home screen and clearing the home screen, I'll show you how to do this problem so that you simply get the answer without any drawing. To do that, we're going to go to the distribution button again. This time, we're not going to go to draw, but instead we're going to go to number two, which is the normal cumulative density function, or normal CDF. And by either going to the number two and hitting enter, or hitting the number two on the keyboard, we'll put in the normal cumulative density function. The input into this function is going to be the lower number z-score, followed by the upper number z-score, separated by a comma. Remember to use the negative key next to the enter key, and not the minus key. And we have negative 8.5, and a comma, and 1.27. In the TI-84 graphing calculator, you're also asked to supply the mean and standard deviation, which are 0 and 1. In the TI-83, that can be input, as you see here, and that will give us our answer, which is the same answer you'll note as we had earlier. Hitting second function enter and deleting the mean and standard deviation, simply putting in the z-scores, will also give us the correct answer in the TI-83. So if we just simply want the answer, we can use the normal cumulative density function found under the distribution button, selecting number 2.